Hello and welcome to Tech Up to. Hello and welcome to Tech Up. Hello and welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. It's early morning and we're here to bring you the battle of the Haswell versus the Ivy Bridge E in a head-to-head -head comparison video for you folks that are interested. So with that said, let's jump in and let's talk about the differences between these two CPUs and at the end of the day, what they can do for you and which one you should buy depending on your needs. Let's dive right in. So folks, let's just talk about some of the main differences. Obviously, you have the LGA 2011 platform. That is what you're going to be using for the Ivy Bridge E. For Haswell, that is the Z87 platform. Those are some of the differences right there off the bat. The motherboards that you use will be the X79 versus the Z87. And as far as the processors go, the i7-4770K Haswell is a four-core, eight-thread CPU that comes to market at 3.5 gigahertz with a turbo a boost of 3.9 gigahertz. Now, the Ivy Bridge E is a little bit different. It comes to market at 3.6 gigahertz and has a 4.0 for its turbo boost. Now, while we can see that these two CPUs are similarly clocked, where things start getting different is where we see the six core 12 thread that is on the Ivy Bridge E. Now, this is gonna come into play when you're wanting to use massive amounts of lanes with video cards, like you're doing a quad SLI or a quad crossfire system. You wanna do intense applications for 3D rendering, wanna have the maximum available amount of memory support. That's when you're gonna look at the Ivy Bridge E. Now, as far as the testing goes, if you guys happen to miss our test video, Video where we showed you guys both of our test systems. You guys can check that out right here. Bounce over there and check that out first and then come back here and finish the video if you guys really want to do that. Now, beyond that, when we get into doing the scoring, you guys can see that pretty consistently in gaming, it seems like the Haswell can go head to head. And actually in PC Mark 7, oddly enough, you see that <laughs> it's really strange that the Haswell actually scores better than the Ivy Bridge E. But when it comes to productivity, saving time, crunching numbers and all that, that's when you can see in the test scores that the Ivy Bridge E jumps ahead. It has a lot better performance. If you're looking for productivity, you're looking to save time, then you're going to want to be looking at the Ivy Bridge E. For gaming and all that, there's no reason at all unless you're wanting to have a quad SLI or quad crossfire system why you would want to jump into Ivy Bridge E at all. So if you're going out right now and you're going, hey man, I'm looking for a new system. I'm really trying to find out what's going to benefit me the most. If you're not a gamer, gaming is like your secondary thing and you only want productivity, you want the fastest productivity, you also want to look at the Ivy Bridge E CPU part. If you're just doing standard gaming and all that stuff, one, two video cards, 1080p monitor, don't waste your money. Jump onto the Haswell platform. You'll be doing just great, baby. You'll be happy that you saved your money. Obviously, the Ivy Bridge E and its accompanying X79 motherboard are going to be more costly due to the fact that they have a lot more options on board for you to do. Now, on the other hand, if you use your computer to make money, video rendering, 3D modeling, CAD work, that type of stuff, that differential that you get in performance over time equates to a lot of savings because time, let's just face it, losing time is losing money. So if you can save time, you're saving cash. I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys missed any of the information about this, test stations, or anything else, it's down there below the like button. You guys know what to do there, and all that information's down there. If you guys missed the full-blown review and you guys want to just check out all the stuff, you can also check that out here behind me or, once again, down below in the description. So I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys like this video. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech goodness tomorrow. <laughs>